into the blistering desert sky flies the Reaper. An unmanned aerial vehicle, it's at the front line of operations in Afghanistan. But the base where the Reaper is controlled from is not in Afghanistan. It's thousands of miles away in the middle of the American Nevada desert. And those flying it remotely include a squadron of RAF pilots based here. We were given the first access to the Reaper's secret control room, the cockpit for those operating the aircraft. As we walk in, a live mission is underway over Helmand province in Afghanistan. Currently we're doing a surveillance task that is uh, uh, fairly high priority. And what's the mission? Um, all I can tell you is I'm focused on um, a particular compound that we're, uh, we're keeping surveillance of for the minute. Um, and that's really all I can say on that. Through a satellite link, the Reaper beams back live images to the banks of video screens, whilst the pilots manoeuvre it towards its target. From high in the sky, it can see what troops on the ground can't. Although it may look like it, this is no video game. Since late last year, the RAF has been flying the Reaper from here in the Nevada desert. Commanders say it's provided invaluable support to British troops operating in Afghanistan but it's about to take on a new role. This declassified footage of a US Predator, the older version of the Reaper, following a motorbike, shows what unmanned vehicles can do. The motorbike obliterated by a Hellfire missile. The man who commands the US fleet of Predators and Reapers told me why they were so valued. It's not the weapons per se, but it's the persistence. You know, I can, I can go to the fight in, in, in my F-16, which is what I used to fly, uh, and I might be able to spend 20, 30 minutes over a target before I'd have to leave and go back and get gas off of a tanker. You know, this Reaper behind me, or a Predator, uh, it can stay over a target for 20 hours. The U.S. has used its aircraft to go after some of Al-Qaeda's top leaders, although even with the latest technology, there continue to be civilian casualties. And during our visit, the RAF confirmed that its Reaper is now regularly taking on Taliban targets. I cannot comment on uh, specific operations, but can confirm that the RAF Reaper has uh, used its weapon system in support of UK units on the ground. From its desert base, the RAF say the Reaper is already proving its worth, opening a new era of remote-controlled warfare. Gordon Carrera, BBC News, Nevada.